Good evening. Welcome to the February 2nd Troy City Council meeting. We're now called to order. And this evening, we're pleased to have with us Cynthia Kahn from Faith Lutheran Church to give us our invocation. And that will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. Mrs. Kahn, would you like to come here? Thank you. Uh, actually, the other, the other microphone. Yeah, that's a mic. Thank you. O oh Lord, our God, our Creator and Father, we come into your presence this evening with heartfelt gratitude for the blessings of your goodness. O oh mighty God, we pause amid the confusion of the world and the noise of the city to come to thee. We are humbled by thy goodness and challenged by your message of love. You do not want mankind to perish but to be saved. You love people of every nation, tongue, tribe, and color. Grant that your peace and presence would fill this room, that we may experience your love, mercy, and grace. We pray for the city of Troy and for this meeting that you grant wisdom and your discernment to all the council members, be the center of their planning and decision making in the important matters of this city. Grant that we, the citizens of America, may perpetuate the philosophy of government dear to our founding fathers by demonstrating genuine concern and by intelligently supporting those policies and procedures that promise to fulfill the highest concepts of democracy. We thank thee for our political heritage, whereby individuals may express themselves through wise leadership, legislation, and faithful performance of duties and services. May they continue to contribute to good government and to the administration of country's affairs. As individuals grant us a new vision of causes worthy of support, justice in a day of attractive wrong and appalling crime, unselfishness in a time of greed an astounding need. Peace in a time of political chaos. Enable us to see and meet the needs of people with discerning com compassion. Give us victory over prejudice and becoming conduct. Save us from weak resignation and costly accusations. Save us from ourselves that we may become worthy ser public servants. Make us mindful mindful for the needs of others. O oh Lord, forgive us for taking our daily provisions for granted. Oh, you love all whom you have created. In your mercy, Lord, give your daily provisions to the less fortunate. Lead us to share with those who, are, who need it most. Bless, sustain, and inspire leaders of state and nation that they being committed to justice, goodwill, integrity, and peace, may lead us to the people of the world, may lead us and the people of the world to more godly demonstrations of freedom and faith. Forgive us our sins and cleanse us from our faults. Strengthen us to serve more acceptably and effectively. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mrs. Khan, for coming this evening and delivering our invocation. May we have the roll call, Mrs. Bartholomew? Mayor Schiller? Here. Quorum present. This evening we begin our meeting with a presentation to um, Ann Comiskey, the Executive Director of the Troy Community Coalition uh, for National Children of Alcoholics Week. And uh, I think that you will find the information in the proclamation interesting and enlightening. Mrs. Kaminsky, I'll go down to the front. This is 
is the proclamation for National Children of Alcoholics Week, and it is February 8th through the 14th, whereas it is estimated that one in four children in the United States under the age of 18 is hurt by family alcohol abuse or alcoholism, and that countless others are affected by parental drug use. And whereas there is strong scientific evidence that alcoholism runs in families with children of alcoholics, being two to four times more likely to develop alcoholism than children of non-alcoholics. And whereas parental alcohol abuse is a significant factor in a large proportion of child abuse and neglect cases. Whereas young children of alcoholics exhibit symptoms of depression and anxiety to a greater extent than children of non-alcoholics. And whereas young children of alcoholics often have difficulty in school and are more likely to be truant, drop out of school, repeat grades, or be referred to a school counselor or a psychologist. And whereas children of alcoholics with interest and support from family, friends, health professionals, teachers, clergy, and others can avoid the negative effects of femi family alcoholism. And whereas the Troy Community Coalition and caring members of our community are committed to helping children of alcoholics. Now therefore be it resolved the Troy City Council does hereby proclaim February 8th through the 14th as Children of Alcoholics Week in the City of Troy, Michigan. And be it further resolved the City Council calls upon all citizens community agencies, organizations, and businesses in Troy to encourage all citizens of Troy to help break the silence often surrounding this alcoholism and reach out to support the children and their families. This is presented the second day of February 2009. And it's interesting that the last day of the week of this is the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. And these children certainly need all our love and support. Thank you. Did you want to say anything? You have a. She has laryngitis. Usually she has more interesting things to say. Thank you. Now this evening we have no carryover items, no public hearings, no postponed items. So we go right to public comment, limited to those items that are not on the agenda. And I see that we have Senator John Papa George represented very nicely today by uh, Connie Cardarian. And she's going to talk. And I'm. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Corinne Kadarian. I'm uh, Senator Papa George's district representative, and I thank you for this time this evening. Um, one of the points I want to um, uh, hit tonight would be his district office hours. They're held the last Saturday of every month at the Troy Community Center in room 404, and they go from 9 in the morning till 11 a.m. Uh, the date for the next office hour that he has is February 28th. It's a Saturday. And at these meetings, the senator discusses with the citizens of Troy any items of concern or any questions they may have or even tell them what a good job he's doing. Um, additional office hour is held on the second Monday of every month at the Troy Community Center in room 404 for seniors or for anybody else that has any questions or comments for the senator. Um, please take note uh, that no appointments are necessary. You may walk in and you are always welcome to attend these office hours. Um, if neither of these times are convenient for the citizens of Troy, please feel uh, free to contact me at the district office. The phone number is 248-723-0988 or please call toll free our Lansing office, which is 1-877-736-1384. Um, I'd also like to congratulate the City of Troy on a wonderful and successful Kaleidoscope Fund program. 
Uh, the city does a wonderful job with the youth, and uh, Cindy Stewart also does a great job. So we want to congratulate both the city of Troy and Cindy for doing a great job. We were happy uh, to participate in this event by donating 300 coloring book books for the youth at this program. And the books were not only for the children to have fun, but they had an educational aspect to them too. For example, one of them regarded recycling. Mm -hmm. So um, congratulations again to the city of Troy. Uh, Senator would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Troy Boy Scouts, pack number 1712, which is based at Waddles Elementary for a successful Pinewood Derby that they just had this last Saturday. Um, they asked the senator to participate in one of the races and we were happy to do so. And um, the, the boys did a great job in fundraising because they have a brand new track and it worked really well that day. So congratulations again to uh, PAC 1712 and to the Cub Master, Sue McDonald. Um, senator also wants to announce that on February 17th, he will be participating in the Troy Senior Expo. Um, we did so last year and they had, I believe, over 200 participants and it was a great event. Um, so we're happy to participate again and we will ha be having free giveaways as well as um, state publications that are helpful to seniors. And we look forward to seeing everybody then at the uh, Senior Expo. And one last point I'd like to hit is the uh, um, help for unemployment benefits. Uh, Senator Papa George announced last week that his constituents can call his office if they are having difficulty reaching the state unemployment agency. This announcement has come due to several problems that some of our constituents have had reaching the unemployment offices across the state. Uh, the Senator wants to help expedite the process and the last thing anyone needs to do at this point in time after suffering a loss of a job is to deal with the stress associated with trying to reach the unemployment office. So those constituents are encouraged to contact our office by again dialing toll free 877-736-1384. Thank you, Madam Mayor and the City Council. Good night. Thank you, nice to see you. Is there anyone else that's here on items that are not on the agenda? Audrey Zembrowski? Uh, I'm Audrey Zembrowski. I just want to come and thank you for passing the money to be used to fix the library cafe. And uh, I know I, I don't usually vote in for money, but this one I thought was a necessity. And I just want to thank you for also having Kathy as our director. She does a great job, the same as Tony does, a great job as our city clerk. And that was the main goal. Thank you. I'm glad you're feeling well enough to join us again. Is there anyone else that wishes to speak on an item that's not on the agenda? Seeing none, we'll go to our regular business items. And um, E1 is appointments to boards and committees. And uh, the city council appointments that were um, nominated last time are up for a vote this time. So would someone like to move that? Mayor? Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Howard. I'll, I'll move the resolution and read the, uh, the names as well. The um, Board of Zoning Appeals, Lon Ullman, the Planning Commission representative, Philip Sanzica, the alternate on the um, BZA from the Planning Commission, Cable Advisory Committee, Brian Waddles, Election Commission, David C. Anderson, the Liquor Advisory Committee, Max Ellert, David Ogg, Timothy Payne. Municipal Building Authority, Michael Shaffey, and the Traffic Committee, Sarah Binkowski, and John Diefenbaker for the terms ending in 2013, and Gordon Shepke for term ending in 2012. Moved by Mayor Pro Tem Hauerlach, seconded by Councilwoman Beltramini, that we approve the appointments to boards and committees as printed and read. Discussion? The vote, Mrs. Bartholomew? Mayor Schilling? Yes. Councilman Beltramini? Yes. Greenfield? Yes. Eisenbacher? Yes. Fleming? Yes. Powerback? Yes. Kerwin? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, next, E2 is uh, City Council nominations for committees. 
um, Mayor Pro Tem Hauerlach and any other council members that have nominations? Uh, Mayor? Council, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Hauerlach? The um, one I have this evening is Lawrence Halsey from the Traffic Committee, and I will also advise council that uh, I think there's a typo in, on our agenda. The Municipal Building Authority we just appointed, <coughs> reappointed Mike Chaffee, and I am going down the list on the Liquor Advisory Committee and um, I'm trying to get the, the first names on that list, but I can't get any return phone calls. So hopefully by the next uh, meeting, I should definitely have somebody for that position. So I'll, I'll move this um, uh, one name, uh, Larence Halsey, for reappointment to the Traffic Committee. Second. Moved by Mayor Potem Hauerlach, seconded by Councilwoman Beltramini that we uh, reappoint Lawrence Halsey to the traffic committee. Um, do we need to bring forward the names of our uh, deputy city engineer and our fire chief for that committee also? Mrs. Bartholomew, I noticed there's no <coughs> dates and, and the chief, but they're listed on the sheet. They have no terms. I mean, I don't believe that they need to be brought forward. Okay. They, I just, I know it's on me. I'm just uh, commenting because it is listed on the sheet and I didn't know whether that was an error that there wasn't. Okay, thank you. Further discussion? The vote on um, the nomination of reappointment, Lawrence Halsey to the Traffic Committee? Councilman Beltramini? Yes. Greenfield? Yes. Eisenbacher? Yes. Fleming? Yes. Howard Yes. Kerwin? Yes. Mayor Schilling? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, F, uh, next uh, we have the consent agenda, uh, the F items. Does anyone uh, on council wish to have any exempted? There have been none requested by members of the uh, public. Mayor. See, uh, Councilman Eisbacher? F5 and F6, part two. Okay, would you like to move the resolution with those exempted? Yes, resolved that all items as presented on the consent agenda are hereby approved as presented with the exemption of items F5 and F6, subsections two of each item, which shall be considered after consent agenda F items as printed. Support. Support. Moved by Councilman Eisenbacher, seconded by Councilwoman Kerwin that we approve all the items on the consent agenda um, with the next vote with F5 and 6, part two of each uh, exempted. Discussion? The vote, Mrs. Bartholomew? Councilmember Broomfield? Yes. Eisenbacher? Yes. Fleming? Yes. Powerlack? Yes. Kerwin? Yes. Mayor Schilling? Yes. Councilmember Belkin? Yes. Motion passes. Um, Councilman Eisenbacher, you requested uh, five and six, part two. Um, just being consistent with my past votes that I strongly prefer to not uh, have the resolution to institute court action for condemnation prior to having contact with each of the property owners and making an offer. I understand from the memo from staff that it's due to a kind of time constraint of the project. So this is just me being consistent with my past voting history. Okay, thank you. Any others? Would someone like to move those a resolution? Madam Mayor. Uh, Councilman Beltramini? I would move part two of both five, uh, F5, A and, uh, yeah, F5, all part two, and F6, all part two. Do we have a second? Support. Moved by Councilwoman Beltramini, seconded by Councilwoman Kerwin that we approve item F5 and F6, part two. Discussion? The vote, Mrs. Bartholomew? Councilmember Eisenbacher? No. Fleming? Yes. Howard Act? No. Kerwin? Yes. Mayor Schilling? Yes. Councilmember Beltramini? Yes. Broomfield? Yes. Motion passes. Uh, 
Next, we'll go for, um, that concludes consent items. We'll go, there's memorandum about uh, future council agenda item and council referrals, council comments. Anybody have any items to bring up this time? Okay, um, and the minutes are here. Madam Mayor. Yes, uh, Councilman Kerwin. Since, um, if I may, since Executive Director uh, Ann Kamiski lost her voice, I simply wanted to point out how important some of those programs are. There's an outreach that is, uh, efforts are made at all ages, uh, including the very young, in support of uh, helping those who are experiencing difficulties with alcohol and other addictions. Um, I know that if Ann had her voice, she would point out that it's so important to have uh, voices coming from multiple sectors of the community. She works hard with uh, members of the court Troy Youth Assistance, the schools, and of course here on our own council, we support many of their activities, including their annual fundraisers. So, hats yeah, off to them, and this is an important week, I know, for all of the children of, of alcoholics. Okay, thank you. Um, if there are no other items, uh, Council and Bill I, I did not pull the item, uh, the authorization to expend funds for one of us to attend the National League of Cities Congressional City Conference, March 14th to 18th. However, I will say that I have already received a preliminary schedule and my time will be relatively well booked. So if there are items that Troy believes that our congressional delegation needs to hear about, I would encourage someone to go with me, truly because when our particular congresspersons have time to meet with a, an individual may not be when they also can meet with a delegation from the league. So. Okay, thank you. If there are no other items, then we have a study item and we will uh, recess and reconvene in the uh, boardroom, which is in the hall behind here. Uh, so with that, we're in recess. We'll reconvene in the other room. Thank you for coming. <laughs>